Chris Eubank JNR has told George Groves not to flush their British superfight down the drain this weekend. Getty Chris Eubank JNR is on a collision course with George Groves Eubank is on a collision course with a Groves after he crushed previously undefeated Turk Avni Yildirim in Stuttgart on Saturday night. He surged into the World Boxing Super Series semi-final courtesy of the win and will now face the winner of Groves' WBA title defense against Swindon Hardman Jamie Cox at Wembley Arena this weekend. And Eubank, who will be ringside for the clash, is hoping Groves comes through in style so he can finally get his hands on his former sparring partner from West London. He said me and Groves have a history, a rivalry and the public have been demanding that fight for a number of years now, we are at the stage where it could happen in January. As long as he does what he is supposed to do against Jamie Cox then the fans are going to get a British super fight, that's what I've been chasing for a long time and those are what I'm in this sport for. I've done my job, now it's his turn to do his. Rio Ferdinand has announced he will take up professional boxing but he is not the first footballer to venture into another sport. Getty Rio Ferdinand boxing the ex-Manchester United man has announced he will take up professional boxing me and Groves have a history, a rivalry and the public have been demanding that fight for a number of years now Chris Eubank JNR will be there watching closely on Saturday and may the best man win but Groves should get through it, Eubank sent out a statement to the other super middleweights in the World Boxing Super Series with his searing win over Yildirim, which he sealed with a third round knockout. The brutal finale, which came via bone-crunching left hook, silenced the 5,000 crowd made up almost entirely of Yildirim's fellow countrymen. Before that, crowd violence threatened to mar the night as a 50-man brawl kicked off about an hour before Eubank was due to make his ring walk. But the event's promoter, Kale Sauerland, revealed that 30 undercover policemen were employed to quash any trouble and keep the night on track. Sauerland said we were prepared for the worst tonight. We had to have 45 security in just for the press conference, I was in the arena when it kicked off, it was a gang thing between Turks and Albanians. There may have been a motorbike connection, but it was definitely two gangs, we had over 30 undercover police in there tonight. It was different to the UK where there is a lot of muscle running about, we have undercover guys who are in there cooling it down. I thought they did a good job considering. Related Articles